First you go to cgoptx.moople.eu. When you go there you will get this page. And what you see is a lot of icons and weird shit. And the only items you want are the keys. And they are a bit spread around, so like there's a green key here, there's a yellow one here, a pink one there, a red one. So I'm gonna explain now how to use these. So let's you have your map here and you want for example a key to be there. So for this to be become a key, so this ground will become the key. For that ground to become the key you will have to remember the set value. That's this value over here. Um it's one in this one, so we can easily remember that. So we're gonna remember that set value one is that ground, so we copy it. We go back to this web page, cgobjects.moople.eu, you fill in the thing here, you select one in this list, and then you generate the key you want. Let's say in this key uh, in this thing I want it to be blue. So let's generate the object. Now we can load it, put it back into the map editor place it here and you will see the blue key is active. If you want this blue key to not uh, have any collision and all that other stuff you have to click on it and remove all this. Deep feature collision with mice and collision with grounds. Now we're gonna um, for example if this is a second key the other keys have a barrier around them so you have to make this one a bit thicker. Let's make it 18 or 17. Let's make it 17. You can make it 18 if you want it to be better visible. And let's say you need to have gotten the red key before this one. So let's give this a red color. Or um, you pick the color of the red key. I don't know. Now you load the map again. And what you see there's a red blob behind it. You can see it's not really aligned well, so you can change that a bit by uh, moving it a bit to the left and you can load it till it looks nice and now you can see there's a red ring around the blue key and you can pass through and you uh, can use this for your key hunt minigames thank you for watching